SMART goals. What are they? Why do you need them? And how you can actually make them work for you. You've probably heard of SMART goals. You don't know what they're necessarily about, but you want to make your goals work for you. Stay tuned. In 1981, which was a good year, because that's when I was born, a gentleman by the name of George Doran invented and came up with the acronym for SMART goals. He wrote a paper about how to achieve management objectives, how to achieve your goals in your business. He wrote the acronym SMART, which stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic or Relevant, and T was Time Bound. Now, I wanna pull apart these SMART goals and how you can actually make them work for you. And I wanna change some of the words that are associated with SMART goals. So for me, S still stands for specific. You've gotta have specific written down goals that are around the things that you wanna achieve. Let me give you an example of a non-specific goal. A lot of people say they wanna take a holiday next year. In the next 12 months, they'd like to go on holidays. My question to them is always, where do you wanna go? Where exactly do you wanna go? It's gotta be specific. Okay, you say you wanna to go to Walt Disney World in Orlando, which hotel do you wanna stay at and which parks do you wanna go, go to? M used to stand for measurable, which is still a good thing, but in my SMART goals, it stands for massive. Massive, massive, unrealistic, huge goals that you can't even think about achieving right now, but you're gonna set them as a lofty goal anyway. And the reason why I say you gotta set massive goals is because I'd rather come up short on a massive goal than hit a mediocre one, wouldn't you? So I'd rather set the massive goal of staying in the Sofitel in the Bahamas and I'd come up short and maybe hit the Novotel in the Bahamas or hit the Novotel across in Florida, but still have a fantastic experience, rather than setting myself a smaller goal that might have been more attainable, realistic. I don't want that. I don't want realistic goals, because you know what your realistic, attainable goals are usually based on? Your previous experience, what you've previously experienced yourself, what the people around you have experienced, what your parents have. That's usually what helps you to become realistic and attainable and what makes you paint the picture in your mind of what's possible. But you've got so much more in you. A is for action focused. In 1981, SMART goals, A stood for attainable. But we've already smashed that and taken that out of the picture with our massive unrealistic goals. Now I wanna talk about A being action focused. In other words, you have some specific action steps associated with those massive goals. I know for me, in order to get to the body fat percentage, the weight that I wanna be, the income that I wanna have, if I set massive goals in those areas, I've gotta have massive action steps associated with them. I can't skip a day in the gym. I can't skip a day where I don't write books, do videos. So A is for action focus. They've gotta be focused on all the action steps that you can do and writing your plan associated with those massive goals that you've already set. For me, R stands for reinforced. In other words, you've got those goals absolutely everywhere. You've got pictures of the holiday that you wanna go on. You've got pictures of the car that you wanna have. You've written yourself a physical check and you've put it on the wall for the amount of money that you wanna earn this year. They've gotta be everywhere. I remember many years ago, I worked for an automotive company and they wanted to sell 70,000 of their cars in the calendar year. They had the number 70,000 plastered on every wall in the building of head office, every wall. Everywhere you went, you knew they were getting 70,000. They had t-shirts made up, 70,000. Guess what number they got? 70,000 and a bit more. So the point is to reinforce it, to have it everywhere that you look. I'm a big believer that you should write down your goals every morning. 
Not just go over them and look over them, but write them down. Hey, take a visit to the dealership and go and sit in that car that you dreamt that you'd always wanted. That's a goal for the next 100 days. Sit in it, take a photo in it, and actually visualize yourself already having it. Do you remember the movie Cool Runnings? Cool Runnings was that uh, Jamaican bobsled team. And I remember the guy that sat at the back of the bobsled, I think it was, his name was Sanka. He had a picture of the house that he always wanted to live in. Do you remember what it was? Buckingham Palace. Now, unfortunately, that was slightly unrealistic goal. See, R often stands for realistic goals. But again, I'm not setting realistic goals. I'm setting massive goals that are unrealistic and I'm going to have them reinforced all around me. Guess what? I'd rather come up short on Buckingham Palace and get a palace down the road of my own rather than hit the little fibro shack somewhere in the back of nowhere in London. And T stands for time bound. In other words, you've got to have a time limit on when this actual goal has to be accomplished by. That's why I've got the 100 days of greatness because I want you to achieve all your goals in the next 100 days so that you set bigger ones for the next 100 days and the 100 days after that. It's got to be time bound. You've got to put a time limit on it. You've got to have short, midterm and long term goals. There's no point in saying that I want this massive goal that is somewhere off in the future in a five year plan when I don't have a three month plan or even a one week plan in order to achieve the things that I've got right now and make the goals that I want for the next week, the next month, the next 100 days. That's what the 100 days of greatness is all about. So what I want to do is I want to give you this as an encouragement and as an example of how you can set smart goals. Get your pen, get your pad out and get to a printer and start printing out some of the things to put them up on your wall so you can reinforce them. Set some massive goals and I'm going to give you a free resource below in the comment section. I'll send you the link. I'll give you a free resource so that you can actually plan out these smart goals for yourself. See, the difference between a goal and a dream is an action plan, a planner, a personal goal planner that you have and you make part of your daily routine, your daily activities to write them out again, to go over them, to reinforce it, to visualize it and to have massive action steps associated with them. Because otherwise that goal becomes a dream. It's just a fantasy. And you know what? We can all spend time daydreaming of the possibilities. But I know if I've set myself a massive goal, I want to achieve it. And I'm getting you to keep me accountable and I'm going to keep you accountable in these 100 days of greatness. Let's hit some massive goals. Now, I know you've set goals before. I know you've set goals before and they hadn't worked. I know you took a New Year's resolution out, maybe at the start of this year or years gone by, and it didn't work for you. You know why? Because you didn't do it daily. You didn't have the consistency daily to go back over and write out your goals. You put them in a notepad and you put them on the shelf. That's the problem with goals. The problem with goals, if you don't write it out and you're not going over them daily, well, they don't mean much to you. If you have a strong why about what you do, if you have a strong why about why you want these goals, then you'll make it a daily discipline. You'll make it a consistent thing to say, well, I'm going to start with 100 days and then I'm going to go on to the next 100. I'm going to achieve some massive goals, change my life, transform it into every area in the next 100 days. Why? Because I matter. And why? Because I've got more potential in me than what I've already been achieving. I encourage you, get on board, set massive goals, and let's hit them together. Hey, I wanna encourage you on the journey towards your goals in these 100 days of greatness. Make sure you hit subscribe and share this video with somebody else that will find it relevant and it will really help them set their goals. This 100 days of greatness is about you achieving your greatness in the 100 days. So what I want you to do is hashtag 100 days of greatness on all your social media, and I'll be checking in on that and I wanna share the journey with you. I wanna do the journey with you. Make sure you also hit subscribe and forward this video onto a friend that you know needs to take their goals and their activity to the next level as well. And all my social media below, make sure you check it out to see my journey on 100 Days of Greatness and get ready to smash your goals and be great in the next 100 days.